Hi guys, good afternoon and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host Eddie and in today's video I thought I'd bring you my thoughts and reaction to the official trailer we got a few weeks ago out of New York Comic Con. As I've explained in my past couple videos, I am playing catch up and I have been super behind on a lot of content including full seasons of TV shows and multiple TV and movie trailers. So that is why I continue to play catch up today starting with the Creature Commandos official trailer, which dropped at Comic-Con, New York Comic-Con, several weeks ago. Oh, man, this looks exciting. You know, of all the um, uh, brand new DC projects, excuse me, DCU projects, starting with the soft reboot of the DC Universe, this might be the one I'm most excited for. I'm very excited for Superman and Peacemaker Season 2 as well. But of the immediate three that are forthcoming, Creature Commandos is the one I am most excited for because the Suicide Squad is easily one of my favorite DCEU uh, movies. And I'm hoping, based on different tidbits of information I've read online, that it will remain or become canon to the new DCU. Because to me, that film could work in either the DCEU or the DCU, which is the name of James Gunn's new universe moving forward. So the movie works in either universe, I believe, and I hope that it becomes canon, because I'd love to see those surviving characters return again in some capacity. So with Creature Commandos, though, it definitely gives you off the vibe and the tone of the Suicide Squad. And um, I absolutely loved that movie, so I'm sure I'm going to love Creature Commandos, especially with awesome creatures like Eric Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, Weasel is back. It looks like they picked him up after he was left alive or left for dead in Corto Maltese, but then as we saw at the end of The Suicide Squad, he was alive and well, just briefly unconscious from temporarily drowning. <laughs> God, that was a funny scene. But Weasel was such an underrated, underused character, and now it seems like he'll be more fully utilized in this show. At least I hope so. So those are the characters I'm probably the most excited for in this series is Eric Frankenstein, The Bride, and Weasel. Every, uh, everybody else looks cool and great too. And I'm happy to have like the likes of Amanda Waller coming back, played by the awesome, the wonderful, the talented Viola Davis. I'm so happy she's one of the few people returning for this new universe and keeping her role. So that's great because she does an excellent job at playing such a great Black Ops director. So yay. All right. So it looks like from this trailer, we got a bit more information about who our big bad is or who the creature commandos are going up against. And it seems to be a flying redheaded woman. Don't recognize her off the top of my head. Not sure who she is or who she's supposed to be. But apparently since uh, Congress has uh, kind of um, gotten, um, not gotten down, but they've um, kind of um, laid down the law, so to speak, with Waller and other black ops operations, they can't use human prisoners anymore for this shit, so now they gotta go to non-human prisoners, which of course Waller just has at her disposal dozens of prisoners to choose from, which is where most of our characters of Creature Commandos will probably come from. So I'm really excited about this. Like I said, I loved the Suicide Squad. I cannot wait for Creature Commando Commandos. And what I'm really excited for is hopefully someday seeing the Creature Commandos, I mean, whichever ones survived the first season of this show, returning to uh, be played in live action by their respective voiceover actors. Because Gunn himself said over a year ago, moving forward, any DC animated projects will be voiced, the characters will be voiced by actors who will play them in their live action counterparts in the in other future projects uh, should the need be there for it. So that is very very exciting to me. I love the idea of Eric Frankenstein possibly sharing the screen, the same screen screen time with either the likes of Superman, Wonder Woman, even Batman. How, why, and what under what circumstances? I have no idea. I'll leave that up to the writers and to James Gunn. Personally, it's just a hope that I have for the future. But for now, I am super excited to see Eric Frankenstein and the rest of these monsters in action when Creature Commandos debuts its series premiere on Mac. December 5th with the first two episodes and then the season one finale will hit us in early January of next year.
here. Have an awesome rest of your day, guys. Thanks for watching this trailer reaction video. And thank you for your patience and understanding as I play catch up. Have a wonderful rest of your day if I don't see you. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.